Hey kids! In today's video, we will be learning about the food web. Are you ready? Let's begin! Imagine a food web as a big spider web. But instead of being made of silk, it's made up of plants and animals. They are all connected to each other by who eats what. Let's learn how the food web works. Producers and decomposers Producers and decomposers are organisms that occupy the first trophic level in a food web. Producers, such as plants and algae, are organisms that produce their own food using sunlight. Decomposers are organisms that break down dead organic matter and waste products, returning essential nutrients to the environment. Examples of decomposers are bacteria, fungi, and most insects. Primary consumers Primary consumers are organisms that occupy the second trophic level in the food web. They are herbivores that feed on producers such as plants and algae. Some animals in the primary consumers eat insects that are decomposers such as the anteater. Secondary consumers Secondary consumers are organisms that occupy the third trophic level in a food web. They are typically carnivores or omnivores that feed on primary consumers. Tertiary consumers Tertiary consumers are animals that occupy the fourth level in a food web. They are meat eaters or omnivores that eat secondary consumers. Tertiary consumers help keep ecosystems balanced by controlling the number of secondary consumers, which affects the population of lower level organisms. In a food web, each animal can be connected to many other plants and animals. For example, a squirrel might eat some nuts or fruits and then a fox might eat the squirrel. But the fox might also eat birds, and the birds might eat insects, and the insects might eat plants, and so on. A food web shows us how all living things are connected by what they eat. Now here are fun facts about the food web. Mutualism Sometimes, different species work together in a food web. For example, bees get nectar from the flowers while helping the flowers pollinate. Insects role Insects play a big role in many food webs. They can be herbivores, carnivores, or decomposers. For example, ants use leaves to harvest fungus to eat. They also eat other insects. Or they clean up dead plants and animals. Top Predators In a food web, the animals that are not usually eaten by others are called top predators or apex predators. A few examples include lions, sharks, and eagles. Apex predators play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of ecosystems. Marine food webs Ocean food webs are incredibly complex and start with tiny organisms called phytoplankton. These are eaten by small fish and other organisms, which are then eaten by bigger fish, seals, and whales. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the food web today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button.
Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!